Get a good look, everyone. This is what it looks like when Calvin forgets to tighten the top hat bolts on the new KW coilovers that we installed hey, yesterday. Do we have a counter for how many times Calvin's forgotten to tighten something? Uh, I don't know, but maybe when we move over to the new shop, we can get a big sign on the wall that's like, <laughs> days since Calvin has <laughs> left something loose. Because I think at that point, this is what we need. We have a new set of wheels coming today from HRE, which I'm very excited about. They're making a house call and delivering it down. But before we throw on those new wheels, we had to put the car back up in the air and tighten up these shock mounts because when I was driving, I could hear like a little rattle coming from the back two struts. So we're dialing those up, getting those fixed today, and we have some extra bits and pieces coming for the M4 today that I'm very excited about. This is the last day of Vlogmas, and if you've been here and you've watched all 24 videos, I wanna say thank you. It's been a blast, it's been a lot of fun. Now, the vlog isn't over, I'm gonna try and make today's vlog nice and long for you guys, no promises, but I'm gonna try and make it a long one, because I know this is gonna last time we're gonna see each other for a while. I'd like to preface off the rip that I will be taking a Christmas break, if you will, and I might be gone one week, I might be gone two weeks, I might be gone three weeks. I might upload a best of 2022. I might upload one video here or there that we've had planned out, but just know throughout my absence, I will be missing you guys and I'll be thinking about you guys and I cannot wait to show you what we have coming for next year. Whoa, is that a Supra? What do you do for a living? Uh, you know, I do what you do, but better. <laughs> my bad. Wow. <laughs> he was like, I have a better answer. <laughs> Think about that for four minutes and then came back and said, wait, I'm ready for my answer. Fill me again. Yeah. So better, huh? Way better. All right, we also have a little gift from Mashimaro. Whoa. Thank you, Mashimaro. If you use code, they actually said if you use code Teach a Hunt, you're gonna save a little a couple monies on Mashimaro. So if you wanna save some monies if you're looking for some BMW parts, do you know what that is, Kev? Oh, it's a hood latch open. Yep. Nice trunk latch, huh? Let's see <laughs> if we can install it. I love how for BMW, there's always like a bunch of weird little things that they like that you do. never think about. That you never think about. Like, for one, these were sent out by IND. They were like reflector replacements that were BRG, so it's color matched. Then we also had those things we put in yesterday on the rear bumper. And then, like, there's this thing, which is just cool. It's gonna look sick inside the car. I have no idea how to take this off. I have off. no idea how to take it off, but let's go in the car and see how it looks. For those that don't know what that piece is, this is the hood latch release right here. I need the small one. I guess this is Kevin's definition of small. It was Dylan. Yeah, the short one. The sh Dylan is the, the one getting the tools. Small, short, there's so many different variations. And the streamlight? I don't know what stream light is. The stream light. Stream light. That's the $50 flashlight you made me buy. Yeah, because someone went half ass on what. For those that don't know what a streamlight is, streamlight is like an overpriced flashlight. And Dylan one day was like, Stay there. TJ, we don't have Stay a flashlight. There. I need you to buy a streamlight. So I went and looked up how much these streamlights were online. I guess I'm just a cheap bitch, I guess, in certain things in life, which is fine. I went to buy one and it was $50. First of all, the normal size flashlights are like $100. 20, 150 bucks, and not this one, Kev. The streamlight, I just I just unplugged it, it's right in front of you. So when I saw it was $100, I was like, Dylan, what the heck? No, I'm not buying that. And then he's like, no, you need to buy one. Anyone? So I spent 50 bucks, and let me show you how big it was. Anyone ever worked on a car, ever, you know what this looks like, right? This is the all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off now. With my stream light, guys, my stream light install done. Pretty cool. Paint match, pretty close. Kind of off, but definitely a cool accent piece to have inside the car. Thank you, Mashi Maro. Very cool. They're gonna come, like, you got a car meet, you know, and they go, Ah, he's got the BRG hood latch. She. That looks cool. Oh, man, it it's looks cool. sad. It's, it's a little thing. Oh, so. We've seen it in the comments below. I watched the video because I wanted to see TJ drifting, and then I'm here because I have a grip with Anthony. Okay, it's like the council is. No, I brought boxing gloves. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm gonna give you one chance if you know why we're gathered here. No, no clue. No clue. No clue. No clue. You want me to give it to him? Give it to me. Give it to me straight. It's your mic. Why is the volume different? This. This camera's great. Do you understand the functionalities of a shotgun microphone? How it's pointing directly <laughs> at exactly what time? I want yeah, to wait, capture. I don't you understand. This no, the... captures everything. If you're pointing at Dylan. Pointing at me? Okay. You can still hear that. Well, I don't know if you guys care what we're talking about, but this is like, this is the discussion we're having at the shop, given this is the last day before we all kind of go on vacation. We always like giving Anthony a hard time because we feel like the microphone and the big camera sucks. It's the windscreen that I have. On, that was blocking the audio that made it a lot quieter. It still sucks. Normal. Anyways, HRE is about to be here and we are about to install the new wheels. We're well, actually about to test with them, so hopefully they fit right because it's a very aggressive tire setup. And we know TJ. Oh, are we done ragging on him? Yes. 
Can I keep going? No. Yeah. We're, we're done. Yeah, no, we're done. We're done. Going. We're done. No, Dad said I can't talk about your <laughs> shitty mic. <laughs> All right. So today we have a brand new wheel from HRE. This is their 520M in brushed clear. This is beautiful. Now, I don't know how much on camera it really shows up, but just the machine work. It is very, very shiny. Wow. It's super bright on my face. So good looking. I'm hyped on these. Now, we're actually going to be playing with a few different wheels from HRE. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start with the 520Ms. There's a few different new wheels coming out that I'm really excited to see and showcase. And we're gonna be playing with a bunch of different finishes. Hey, he showed up. So just stay tuned. Oh, look who showed up. Oh, do we flipping this off? Do a burnout. These are beautiful. So let's throw these on and see how they fit. So they were a little bit worried that this wheel fit would be a little bit aggressive up front because we are running a 285-3020. That's a lot of meat up front. But I think, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, it looks so clean with this finish. Ooh. Oh, no. the car down to a cul sac where we always try to get some photos of the cars when we finish it and the thing looks so good. It's always tough trying to shoot pictures of this car and get like the actual coloring of this car because in person the green is a lot brighter and through these videos the car almost looks like black right now. I know. It's you, hard. It's tough. It's super tough. It's a tough shot. And almost if you come around to like this side it, it's I don't know. I wish you could see the green more. But the wheels look great. Fitment is great. The finish is amazing. I'm super hyped. And what's really cool too is Brown was just telling me that these are similar priced to the classics line from HRE. Back at the shop, we're gonna go ahead and install a new duct mill spoiler. The kit on the car looks great, but we're gonna be throwing something that's just gonna polish us off today. So we have a Street Fighter LA. Dylan is the owner of Street Fighter. Don't don't get it confused with Street Hunter. Street Fighter. So this is a Street Fighter duct bill. Ooh. Oh, you make it? This is new, new product. Uh, we actually released it about like a year. Oh, okay. Damn, Calvin's looking fucking good today, boy. Anyways, uh, yeah, this looks fire. So we're taking off the little, honestly, the little stock duck bill that comes on the car, given how aggressive the rest of the car is, honestly looks kind of good. I kind of like it, but I do feel like if there was a little bit of a higher, more aggressive, it would flow a little bit more. This is the first time we've washed the car since we literally got it, and it looks so much better. So Kevin and I are doing these slow, painful, scary, you're burning. I burned the mic a lot. Can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. This is terrifying, bro. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the camera down. If, if, if it's not going, it's just gonna it. So just a start wedging it, but from the back like this way. Watch, watch it expand. <laughs> Oh, it does. Well, I've never used this tool before. I have no idea what it does. So it's an adhesive remover. It, uh, this is a liability. Do, do not. Don't. TJ okay, do you understand a, how to hold it? No. no. TJ is a, a liability. There's like, <laughs> your, no, stop. Sure. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 There we go. Oh, yes, man. there you go. <laughs> Oh my Stop God. yelling at me! Well, you'll figure it out, don't worry. Hey, there you Stop. go. Stop. Relax. Slow down. I'm scared. Two thousand years later. Oh boy, don't miss. Tower just popped by. If you guys don't know Tower, hi Tower. And Tower has an M2. And I was literally texting Tower last night and I was like, dude, ever since I've like become in love with the G82, I've really like fallen in love with BMW again. And I've been looking at this M2. What's this generation called? F87. F87. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it all of a sudden. I mean, it's a really cool car. These things are rippers. Let me see inside. Let me see inside. I just want to see what the interior feels like different. It's a lot more like... Basic BMW. Yeah, but it's still super nice, like though. It. 
So cool. It's before they put the lights in the doors and all that stuff. So. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I don't have that. It's a lot um, smaller than the G82, which I kind of like because I think the G82 is such a big car, but I like how much smaller this one feels. It's clean. I really like this car. This car so, color too reminds me of like my C8 because it was that same like ceramic matrix gray. What's this color called? Hockenheim Silver. Hockenheim Silver. The best well, color for them too. And that's a cool color. All right, so I was just talking to Tyler and I was like going over all the stuff, all the mods we did on the 82 because Tyler's a huge BMW boy. So I was like, yeah, we're just talking about it. And I was like, yeah, but like we pretty much maxed the car out. There's nothing more we can do until we do bleep this whole entire sentence. So like we're stuck until we end up doing the bleep exactly what I'm saying right now. And I was like, Tyler didn't know that I was doing that. He's like, wait, what do you mean? What's the bleep this entire sentence? And I was like, oh, I thought I told you. Let me show you a photo. So don't say anything, but I'm gonna show you a photo of what bleep this entire sentence sounds like <laughs> or looks like. No. <laughs> oh my, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's gonna be not right. The whole yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for that. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be lit. Yeah. yeah. Sneak peek, wow. baby. We just took the M4 down for a little cruise because we're gonna be picking up a car today that slow. we haven't seen in quite a while. What is slow? The car. I don't know, it didn't feel fast. Which one, this one? This one, yeah. It is in a little little spicy little mood. Uh, we're picking up the Veil side. It was at a shop called 101. Those are the guys who were responsible for doing the PPF on the Street Hunter BRZ, and they've done it again on the Veil side, and also like did a big detail on it. I'm very excited to see it. We're pulling up right now, and I'm picking up the BRG Veil side and the BRG M4. <gasps> Ooh, that's right. Ooh, wow. Are we gonna get a good picture? Maybe, hopefully, either way. I'm excited. I think it's in here, somewhere. Not that you guys haven't seen this car before, but we haven't seen it in a while. The Veilside RX-7 just got finished. It looks so good. Evan, do you want to give us a little rundown of what you did front to back on this car while it was here? So we did uh, uh, quite a bit. We, I mean, it came straight from paint. Yeah. So it basically, uh, the paint cured and everything like that. So we basically just gave it a super nice polish, tried to sand down as much uh, clear coat as we could to make uh, the best finish. I think it came out awesome. Then we basically uh, put a clear bra on all the high impact areas. So stuff like around the wheels, so we don't flow and uh, fly rocks tire. everywhere. Cl clean the whole front bumper. The high impacts right behind the front wheels, the whole rocker panels, the the hips right here, and then behind the uh, behind the wheels. Which is pretty crucial. And then we basically uh, uh, did a final polish and uh, put Expel Fusion over the whole entire car, uh, so it's fully coated and protected against uh, acid rain, and should be super easy to clean for you. That was one of the biggest things that I was shocked when I first had the first car we had with PPF was the GT3 RS, and the first time we washed it, I was like blown away on how easy it was to clean and wash. Which ever since then I was like I can't cannot wait to have more cars with PPF on. See, literally, not only does it make you feel more secure that your car is like not gonna get rock chips and you're driving behind people or canyon roads or track use, but also uh, there's a cool sense in knowing that it's easier to wash, easier to maintain, which if you're lazy like me and you don't really love washing your car every single day, it's a cool little product to have. So now I'm curious to see what this thing will look like next to the M4, because you're gonna get a real difference of how much lighter this like British Racing Green is compared to the British Racing Green on our M4. Shit, this thing looks awesome, this lighting. This looks so good. That looks pretty cool. How you know you have a problem is when you have both these cars seeing each other at the same time. You're like, oh, wow, okay. It sucks because the sun is so like yellow right now. It's like not giving like a true sunlight. It's a very like, has a very warm tone to it. So it kind of washes out a little bit, especially on camera, but either way, still looks really sick. We're sitting here just trying to admire every last bit of light we have as the sun goes down. Looks so cool with both these cars together. And I just realized too that the polished Blitz 03s kind of go with the brushed silver of the HREs. It looks like we did it on purpose and that was completely, I had no intention of having the match like that. You guys know me, I like to have everything with like that champagne center, which we didn't do on this yet. So it looks like we did it on purpose. And the black accents, the black accents. I don't know, I'm happy. Jumping back in a 90s right hand drive JDM car feels so weird after driving the G82. I'm trying to get rollers of Dylan driving the M4, but Dylan's trying to get rollers of me driving the Veil side, and I can't get the right shot, but I'm seeing the M4 driving the first time on the road with the new wheel set up, and it looks so good. 
It looks so good. I'm trying to drive this car while filming, while looking at the maps, while being on the right hand side. It sucks. I don't recommend it to anyone. We're at the Hunco office. It's uh, currently 11, 12 at night. And boys, I wanted this vlog to continue on at home. And I wanted to finish my, my, my vision board, but we're still packing orders here at Hunco. We're pretty much completely caught up, which I'm super, super stoked about. Taking a lot of effort. We've done like the past like five hours or so here. And um, I'm gonna have to call it. I am very tired, I'm exhausted. That was 20. Four, 25 days of constant uploads. I've loved spending every second of it with you guys. And I wish that I would have been home earlier to finish this vision board, but I'm not gonna be home till late. It's not gonna happen. But just so you guys don't think I'm cheaping out on you, okay? Just so no one thinks I'm cheaping out. I have all my stuff printed right here. Happiness, eating healthier, therapy. Getting a first place podium, buying an SVJ, finishing the dream garage at the house, all thanks to the vision board. Boys, please finish yours out, see it through. I'm gonna take a break for the next like two weeks. I might upload a video here or there, but if you miss me and you wanna hang out with me, follow my Instagram, I'll be very active there. And boys, have a happy holidays, and I look forward to seeing you guys next year. It's been real, I'll miss you, and after that, I'll be signing out. Peace out, and keep moving forward. Another Vlogmas in the books. Till next year, boys.